Salam alaikum. Hello everyone. Participants uh, that can be uh, working remotely uh, or following us remotely uh, for the uh, Steam Noor workshop. Uh, so this tool that I'm gonna uh, show you, I need you to install it. Uh, it's called Fritzin. Uh, so you need to go to uh, fritzin.org. come to this page and click on download and uh, it used to be free but now I guess you, you pay uh, around 8 US dollars so click on pay and download and it depends if you have a window based uh, PC or uh, Mac you gotta choose the right option um, and then download very easy to download uh, a folder and the folder once you download it uh, it's gonna have uh, all these components, you don't worry about all these. What you need to click on is this uh, fritzin.exe file. Okay, so you double click on this one, you're gonna have this uh, screen here with a breadboard. It's nothing but uh, a plastic with a lot of threads uh, uh, and there are uh, dots basically that are connected. So if I click on on uh, this dot here, you can see the yellow dots means that they, all these dots are connected, so they are connected to each uh, to each other. If I click on the, the top uh, dot, you see all this row on top here; they are all connected. So this breadboard is going to help us, uh, or is going to help you simulate the uh, circuit board we're going to build in uh, in the workshop. Uh, if you are participating and you would like to. Uh, uh, attend the class remotely. Uh, I will be uh, streaming the, uh, the the workshop, and uh, it's gonna be uh, interactive. So if you have any questions, you can actually uh, do it online, and I will be able to help you. So it will be just like you're sitting uh, in the workshop. So um, this basically a breadboard here. Uh, it will help you simulate the circuit we're gonna try to build. So uh, for me, I prefer because it's a small project. I'm not gonna need all this uh, full-size uh, breadboard. I can actually, if you go down here, you have uh, this side. That is the uh, the platform where you build your circuits, and this uh, to the right. This is basically all the parts that you need, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. So for right now, I don't need this uh, huge. Uh, board all I need is a uh, half uh, size so I click on half and uh, if I click on this I can click and drag I can rotate see that just like really just like playing a game um, so I need the board then what else I need remember I talked to you about the uh, that microcontroller well we're gonna be using uh, Arduino uh, Uno board so this uh, this is the symbol of uh, Arduino uh, board. If I click on it, it's gonna load or multiple boards. I'm just gonna select the first one um, that uh, will do the job. All these boards are uh, similar in functions, but have more. Uh, some has uh, more features than the others. But for now, uh, let's not get into details to what is the difference between this one and this one. More than understanding how to use it. So I can click on, uh, on the board and I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm just gonna explain you a little bit uh, of this board. You don't need to know everything uh, from the beginning. All you need to know, this is uh, a microcontroller board. Okay, it's called Arduino. Uno is the, the board. But the microcontroller is here. Uh, this is what we're gonna program. We're gonna program this microcontroller and uh, It has a USB that you can connect to your laptop Because you're gonna need to write a, a code. I will share with you and I'll explain you how that code will work and you, you need also so uh, You can actually supply voltage to Arduino through your USB 
or uh, you can use this uh, uh, power jack here uh, it takes like from 6 to 9 volts um, uh, also that's what, what you need to know about the board it has multiple ports inputs pins and outputs and uh, for now all you need to know is really this is the ground when I click on it every electronic device has a ground um, so that is the ground here and if I click on it it you know you can see these two are all th these three grounds are all connected okay it has also uh, voltage if I zoom in you can see uh, 5 volt here uh, there's uh, another uh, type of uh, VN voltage uh, but for now just uh, remember we're gonna be supplying voltage through the USB uh, we're gonna have ground and uh, for now you're gonna we, we're gonna use digital pin uh, when I mean uh, digital pin uh, digital has two states either on or off high or low zero or one so this is the uh, uh, the state of a pin so uh, you can see that some pins have squiggle and some pin don't so the, the pins that don't have squiggle just like uh, like uh, for example port pin uh, port 8 port 7 port 4 port 2 these are digital uh, inputs and output can be programmed okay and i will explain you uh, uh, how you program them uh, later on in the code and the one with squiggle for example these are analog so we're gonna have either analog outputs or pins or digital pins for the project that we're using uh, we're going to be uh, creating uh, we're gonna uh, need a digital uh, pin so maybe we can use pin 8 and we're going to use uh, basically arduino if we go to core here uh, we're going to need resistor so i'm just going to drive and drop this resistor somewhere here okay just if I zoom in, make sure it's connected to the to the dots. Remember, these all these dots are connected, and all these dots here are connected. Okay, and and then I'm gonna need also under core. I'm gonna need an LED, uh, an LED light emitting die. I'm gonna just drag it here. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it for now. So light emitting die. We're gonna use a program to turn on and turn off this LED that's going to be your first uh, introduction uh, to programming a microcontroller and also uh, uh, playing with the uh, uh, electronic components okay so an LED has uh, two legs it has uh, a long as you see a long leg, leg here okay this is like your positive side Okay. and it has and this is called uh, also called the anode okay it's just basically uh, where uh, you connect this in the circuits this is going to be connected to a positive side and the short leg which has like if you take an actual uh, uh, LED you will see that this side it is flat okay uh, so you can see it by the flatness of this side or it's not rounded or it's a short uh, leg okay so the short leg is it's also called the uh, the cathode okay uh, you don't need to know the names but just just for information okay so the uh, the uh, the cathode is going to be connected to the negative side or the ground okay and the anode which is the long leg it's going to be connected to the positive i can just for example move this one here like so just make sure i click it it get connected and i connect this one right here okay now let's make my connection to uh to the arduino to make a connection just basically you can click on any of these three, three these three points they will be connected to the resistor so uh i'm just gonna click here and we said we're going to use pin 8 so like so okay and uh, we have to connect 
uh, ground with the ground here and positive with the positive and we're gonna connect it to uh, the Arduino also. So the similar way we can just click on here and drag and drop. Very easy to, to make. And I can just you know just go up like that. Make sure you select the wire, just like really uh, making an actual circuit, except we're really playing with the uh, world one simulation, it's just like playing. Well, okay, and I'm gonna color uh, the ground or the negative side, uh, make a connection there, and then um, just gonna make it look nice. Really, I don't have to, but just wanna make it look nice. You can click and drag, just like that. Oh. And if I do shift, and actually it's gonna line up nicely. And new. So if I click here, you can see that this row and this row is connected. And if I click here, you can see that this row and this row is connected. Now all I have to do, so uh, don't forget to change the color of this one to black, since it's uh, brown. Okay. All I have to do now, I can choose any dots, any hole here. And I can connect it with the uh, the voltage. Okay. I still have to uh, uh, pull a, a connect the five volt here. It's gonna go like this. Connect it to that. Okay, and change the color. Uh, I can just make it look nice again. Go like so. And I can come here, make shift. If you do shift, it lines up very nicely. I can go like that. And so now I have my uh, five volts connected to my circuit. So I'm, I'm supplying voltage from Arduino to the uh, circuit board. So I don't need to put any external uh, battery or anything for this uh, Red Bull, okay? Um, so, uh, as I said, I, you can either uh, supply voltage to Arduino through uh, USB or uh, you can also use this uh, power jack uh, like with the 6 to 9 uh, volt battery, should work and you can actually uh, supply voltage uh, same way. So we will be using uh, uh, our uh, laptop to program uh, the uh, uh, microcontroller so we don't have to worry about that. And just to make this nice and play a little bit with the colors, let's make this uh, green. Uh, why not? We can do anything we want to do. I, put, I click on shift. And then uh, I can choose uh, really just for the fun of it. I think it looks nice. Okay, um, so uh, by doing this, we created a circuit board using uh, Fritzin uh, software. I really recommend to download this uh, and use it. Uh, it's very, very helpful. Uh, for kids that uh, maybe don't have access to uh, a hardware store and um, you know you can use this software you buy it once and it has all components okay and there is a lot of information on projects you can build on uh, YouTube and, and I hope uh, I would like to inspire you I want to do a project in the future like this with you every other week, uh, week. Uh, you are welcome to log in and follow my uh, in the uh, classroom Google uh, provide to you. I will announce time that we can start. Uh, you don't have to register. You don't have like every other week we can spend uh, a couple hours, an hour and a half, have fun.